We'll have a quick look at these. Quick look at that. And a lot of this. Welcome back to Audrey Choir for another one. Just a quick one today, quick update on showing a bit of progress, how I'm getting on. A bit slow moving at the minute. Just one of the things, life gets in the way, money, etc. Just trying to get as sorted as we can. So, still on Operation Easy Pond. Obviously, I showed you these two in situ last time. Um, just been trying to work on getting everything together. So, what I've been doing is been raiding skips again. Some nice off cuts of really big, chunky, I think it's 75 mil uh, Celotex cavity board insulation and I've been collecting up polystyrene packaging, got two sacks of that there. Just trying to get what we can so I can start getting on with the cladding of these. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to clad the bottoms of them first, obviously because that's the bit I won't be able to get to, and then the backs. Uh, I have had, I've had a think, I've been running through about a million different scenarios in my head. I'm going to put these side by side, so that one will stay there, this one will come over into this gap here where the Nexus currently sits. To do that, I've got to move the IBC grow on across 20 centimeters. So I've got to take it up to the edge of the tent, um, shorten this pipe and just rejig re some of this pipe work. So to do that, obviously I've got to drain this right down and move it over and still look after the fish. So I've got to try and plan that out as well, somewhere in the edge. But we'll get there, we'll get there. Rome wasn't built in a day. Got the vortex here now. Um, I've discussed last time about the sieve. The sieve will be going out. I have decided I'm not using it. Um, and thanks to those who commented, giving me, you know, just checking my thoughts as well. It's just going to overcomplicate it. I'm not going to use it. We'll have the Nexus with the Draco in the middle, which for the water will drain into first. Then we'll have the Vortex sitting afterwards. Probably going to be Alpha because it's the cheapest media I can get. And I'm really impressed with the way the Roto Shower is working with that. And that's a really simple setup just to give me some extra biological filtration. Um, I may, funds depending, upgrade that. If I'd love to ideally fill that up with Ciparax, but that's going to cost quite a lot. Probably about 800 quid to fill up in Ciparax, so that's not going to happen. Um, but in my dreams, that's what I would do. Um, and again, I don't think... I've got the moving bed at the outside of the Nexus, so I, I don't see the need for another moving bed. It would be great, but again, the price of, of K1 far outweighs the price of Alpha Grog. So... Yeah, that's where we're at. I said I've got to shift that along, get them in side by side, and I can start working on the bottom drains. It's just a, a bit of slow moving progress at the moment. So other things I've got to sort out in terms of finances. So we will get there. Um, if anybody watching and lives in the southeast of England or anywhere that's reasonably travelable, and you know anywhere anyone who's trying to get rid of a load of stuff from a building site, any polystyrene packaging that's fairly thick, any uh, insulation board please chuck it in the comments uh, if, they, if they don't want it we have to pick it up try and clad these all out as best as I can because again the idea is I want to heat these throughout the year so I need to retain that heat and I'm really pleased with how this is retaining so yeah uh, we're going to have a quick look at the, the fish in the garage because I think part of what I'm going to do is I'm going to move some of those guys on reluctantly just to try and generate some funds to carry on the rest of this project so I'll show you those quickly now just quickly, I do have a diesel heater that my dad has kindly donated to me. Um, so I'm going to be having a fiddle with this, see if I can get this room back online with a bit of heat. Obviously it won't be the extremes that the outdoor grow room's on, but still should be able to get some fairly decent stable temperatures in here with that. So I'll be fiddling with that soon. And here are the inhabitants of the tub. So these guys have gone through their first proper winter. I was originally intending it being a mini winter and then picking them back up, but with the IBC and cost and everything, I just decided to stick with that and focus on those ones. I want to get these online again soon, preferably. I want to do some colour work and carry on growing them, so again, they've barely been fed over the winter, just a little bit, just to keep them maintained. Um, but yeah, so these is what I'm thinking I'm probably going to move on. Uh, probably advertise a few of them on eBay, maybe. Uh, generate some funds to carry on with the easy puns. Well, ideally wouldn't want to, but you know, Got to do we got to do. So, if anyone's interested in anything, stick a comment below and let me know. What we're doing doing well. The temperature's warmed up in here now. So it's about 10.5. This water's come up to. It's 14 degrees outside again today. So hopefully that's going to pick up. I want to get that tantra out and get him in the in the hot tub as soon as possible. 
Um, but again, just waiting for this temperature to come up so it's not such a jump across at Higgitsuri as well. I'd love to get him pushed on this year, see what I can get out of him size wise as he enters his, what will be his third year this year, and he'll turn into Sansai. So, doing well, doing well. Like I said guys, it was just a quick one today, just to give you an update of, of what I'm doing, what's going on. Um, I have got some, some good stuff coming, I'm just waiting until the, the weather turns a little bit to be honest. Um, to make sure that you know, enough people get to see it etc. So I'll get all of that sorted out and get that up as soon as possible. Um, and hopefully we can all look forward to a new season starting fairly soon. But thanks for watching guys, as ever, give us a like, support the channel, give us a subscribe. And I'll speak to you all soon. Have a cracking week.